We've been around, well, we're from Minnesota, uh, Granite City. Uh, we've uh, been around since 1999. We've got uh, 26 locations. Well, this next month will be 26. And we're uh, just keep building out this way from the Midwest. So uh, basically what happens is we have, uh, you know, our warehouse, which is located in Iowa. Uh, what happened was we started building all the breweries and all the restaurants when we first uh, started. And we noticed that the uh, water was a lot different. So uh, we figured out that Iowa's got the best water and we uh, created this process, which is called Fermentus Interruptus. Uh, basically what that means is we can stop the process in the beginning of it. Uh, so we uh, create the wort in our warehouse and then we transport it to each destination and then it comes into these uh, beautiful tanks and then we add the yeast and then we uh, complete the fermentation process, uh, filter it if necessary if it's a lager and then we transport it to the coolers and uh, carbonate it, add some nitrogen if it's a stout and right to the serving vessel. So it's, it's really unique that nobody else can do it. We've got two ales and two lagers that we currently have in-house. Uh, one's American lager and then we've got a uh, uh, English IPA and then we've got the German Bach and then a stout. And then we have a mixture we do with the uh, American lager and the German Bach. It's called a Tupo and that's one of the uh, guest favorite. We got about five other beers, uh, an Oktoberfest, which is my favorite, and then we have an Irish Red. And uh, currently we're doing the Scottish Ale, and then in spring we do an all, uh, it's called Ostara, it's a spring ale, and a uh, Belgian wheat, and a Wags wheat beer. All right, this is nothing too exciting, but obviously we got the glyco machine that keeps the temperatures on the tanks. Uh, right back here is where the truck comes. So the first truck will come out, we'll sanitize our lines, you know, get them all ready, line them up, and, and then we'll have the truck which can carry up to six beers. Uh, we just got a new truck. We'll pump it all up over here via pump, and we'll show it right up over here. Then we'll bring it up in here, set it into these uh, tanks right here, get the temperatures going, add the yeast, let it go through that fermentation process, and. There's the little filter machine. If necessary, we will, uh, like I said, filter our lagers. And if not, if it's an ale, put dump the yeast and come back into our TDV, the tax determination vessel where the government wants us to pay some money on it. Get it in here and then uh, add some carbonation, uh, nitrogen or stabilizer, transport it through our vessels, tap lines all the way up and to the front. It doesn't get any simpler than that. So. Oh, I think it's great. How can you not? I mean, seeing the people, even the local brewers going out there, it just creates that excitement. And then you can showcase, you know, the best Ohio, Ohio has to offer. Ohio itself, there's just so many other opportunities. You know, we're Toledo, we're, we're a fifth in the nation of restaurants per capita, so hopefully that the other cities can develop that and maybe bring some competition over around us. We welcome it.